This is now the second week of an air stagnation advisory. Yeah, not a lot of movement in the atmosphere. Not a lot of wind, which is kind of unheard of for this place for this time of year. But hey, we'll take it anyway. At least a blue sky out there. A little hazy around the edges. So the haziness uh, will continue as this advisory is pointing out through at least Thursday. We will get some changes though, and you may like those changes towards the end of the work week. High pressure still in control, parked right over the top of us. That's why things are so stagnant out there, why we're getting the haziness. Up north, some clouds, a few clouds riding up over that high pressure system, and that will continue here in the next 24 hours. So for some of us tomorrow, maybe not quite as sunny as we've seen lately, but with this high pressure in place, keeping the storminess away, that will warm us up a little bit more. So the afternoon highs tomorrow will be about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than they were this afternoon. So nice little bump in temperatures, but not necessarily a bump at night, though. We're still very cold. Down in the single digits again for the upper Snake River Plain. Pocatello back down to 13. We had that last night. 13 expectant chalice, maybe not quite as cold as it was last night, but still cold enough. Stanley around 6. 11 for a low in Salmon. Mackey right around 20. We have a mostly clear sky for the upper highlands. Still below zero in Jackson and over in Afton. Yellowstone will stay in the single digits along with Island Park. Not quite as cold though as it was last night in Island Park. We were way below zero, so we're staying on the positive side of that number, or at least positive side of zero. Clear sky for the southeast corner, back in the single digits in Montpelier and in Downey. 10 will be the low in Lava Hot Springs. And tomorrow, oh, look at all those 40s. Starting off in the single digit with highs in the 40s, it's definitely a, a jump in temperatures just in a short period of time. We're up to 44 for an afternoon high in Lava. We had a mainly sunny sky for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. I say mainly sunny because of those clouds I showed you on the satellite radar map just north of that high pressure system. Well, some of those scraggly clouds will work their way down across east Idaho. And you may notice that. Uh, Jackson right around 32, so still freezing cold there all day long. For the central mountains, lots of sunshine. We're up to 40 in Chalice tomorrow. Salmon around 37 and mainly sunny for the Snake River Plain. A little warmer than this afternoon. We'll top out in the mid 40s in Pocatello. Upper 30s in Idle Falls. Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Keep those 40s around. Then we're colder and look at that. Friday through the weekend a chance of snow and maybe next Monday a rain snow mix with a bunch of wind. Haven't had a much of that lately. I don't fall seven day forecast. We're going to stay dry for the next three days and then there's a chance we could get snow four days in a row from Friday through Monday through the weekend into Monday. Teton area. Same deal, some changes on the way. Friday and Saturday, it looks like snow likely with chances of snow Monday, Sunday and Monday. And for the Central Mountains, we start clouding up a little bit, still some sunshine, and then we could see snow Friday clear through Monday. So some